hello you guys welcome back to my channel so i have another pick a card reading this pick a card reading will be what makes you so sexy what do they like the most about you um what makes you irresistible so i have three piles to choose from today the first pile will be the spider card Second pile will be the Cobra card. And then the third pile will be the Moth card. When I was feeling the vibe, I was getting like Moth to a flame. So use your intuition, take a moment, and I'll see you at your reading. I'm already getting my shoes, but I'm waiting till I get there. I don't know why, but I'm just. Hold on, hold on, let's see. What is the result of my pile? About my pile one. We got the Ace of Pentacles. What is so irresistible? Eight of Cups. What is so ear? Lovers. It's like a little, like, jasmine dry flower on her chest area. Okay, so what makes you irresistible or what makes you sexy? How one? The first thing I heard though, I'm not gonna lie, the first thing I heard when I was shuffling, because I saw the Empress, that was like the first card that stood out to me. The first thing I heard was they they love your boobs. They love your boobs. You have really, really big boobs or really, really big and perky boobs. If you don't have big boobs, you have perky boobs, you have beautiful boobs, whatever size of boobs you have is giving me emphasis on. They really love your boobs, like your boobs, turn them on, your titties, turn them on, whatever you call them, your breast, whatever you call them, like they <laughs> feel like they're perfect, like they feel like you have perfect titties, like you have perfect boobs, like your boobs are like the perfect size for them, they love them, like they feel like they would just i don't know play with them or and i also got like what they like like doing with you is they like taking naps with you like maybe you guys took a nap recently like i feel like you guys have nap dates i think you guys like work a lot or you guys like yeah you guys like to work a lot in this pile but definitely they like your boobs like they love your boobs they want to suck in your boobs right now like this person wants to like fiddle with them play with them have them in their mouth all the time um this person loves your boobs like I don't know what it is it's just like they love them um they never even for you Paula, and they could have like never been like a boo kind of guy but it's something about your boobs that are just so feminine or that they really really like this person could be a gemini and they feel like you look so perfect in your upper area this is what's so sexy about you Paula, one is your titties they love how they sit up they love how they look in tops like in tops they look beautiful like whatever you like to wear in the summertime the winter time whatever it's like giving me emphasis on they like the way the top especially when you wear a cute top they love the way your boobs kind of like jiggle or move or something like that when you, and they like the way they look when you guys are laying in the bed and they like the way they look when you're walking like they go like the way they bounce up and down i think they just are extra they like the fact that they're natural power one like they like your natural boobs. So I don't know if they've dated girls that had their boobs done in the past, which I'm not body shaming. It's just the fact that they like that you're like what they find sexy about you. Basically, is what I'm trying to say is like they find it sexy that you are confident about your natural body. Basically, like they like the fact that you like your natural body. You feel sexy with your natural body. You don't want enhancements. Like they find this very sexy power one that you are like. A natural queen a natural feminine that makes you very very sexy and irresistible maybe they're not used to that they're used to feminines kind of like insecure about their body wanting to get their body done um but with you it's like 
this is just what attracts them whatever makes you happy makes you happy but i think for this pile they strictly like the fact that your boobs are natural and they feel natural they look natural they taste natural <laughs> this person has like a boob fetish now only for you though is what i'm getting and they like the fact that you have a natural body um maybe they're just tired of looking at you know bbls online all day maybe they're just more of like a natural kind of guy for this pal um they like everything they like your stretch marks they like your boobs if you have stretch marks they like those um they like everything about you like your natural body they like everything about your natural body they find your natural body really really sexy pal one um what else am i getting um i feel like for this pile they definitely would choose you over anybody this person probably yeah this person would choose you over anybody any day this person has a thing for you this person is crushing on you this could be somebody you don't even know is crushing on you too for some of you guys you know who this person is um but i think this is like multiple guys that find the same thing sexy about you power one is that you're natural i don't know if you're like a natural girl to the point where you don't wear makeup and you don't like you have you wear your natural hair unapologetic they love this like it's something about this that is very sexy about you power one the fact that you don't you're not afraid to be your natural self and even if you are you make it seem like you're not insecure about it even if you feel like a little anxious about you know going all natural i feel like this would this would like attract more men to you for whatever reason i don't know who needed to hear that if you're feeling a little insecure lately about your natural hair your natural you know beauty your natural body i feel like this is what makes you sexy and you don't even realize it like you're i don't know something about you just being natural it's like the overall energy that i'm getting that makes you so sexy and irresistible to these men that you are involved with or they just see you out and about they just feel like they love it <laughs> like this is what makes them drawn to you with this eight of cups definitely looks like he's like she's irresistible to him and it's like it looks like she's trying to kind of get him off of him i mean trying to get him off of her so yeah what else am i getting for you power one of what makes you sexy what also makes you sexy and irresistible to men um what they like about you is that you could have your own money you like to work for things you like to own your own things um if, yeah that they, they will find you like what they find sexy about you probably is that you have your own money you're financially independent or if you're not finally in, financially independent yet they know that you're the fact that you're striving to be is really sexy and irresistible they feel like it's sexy that you're not trying to live off of them or that the fact that you don't have to live off of them is really sexy to them the fact that you're not needy which makes them needy because you're not needy yeah like what makes you sexy pal one is the fact that you're not needy at all the spider energy is not giving me neediness at all like spiders are really patient you can be very patient it's also sexy about you the fact that you're not you're not needy like you're the empress the empress energy like you attract guys that you want you feel like you don't have to chase guys you i feel like for this ball you definitely don't chase guys or you learn to have this trait in you where you definitely won't chase a guy anymore and this is making you irresistible and more sexy it's making you very very sexy power one i don't even think you notice how much attention that you do get for little things like just having natural hair natural body for you not chasing for you focusing on yourself i think you focusing on yourself power one makes you sexy to the men that you are involved with for whatever reason it's just the fact that a woman is focused on her goals and self-efficient and doesn't need help all the time is very sexy and different um to these men so definitely give me empress vibes like somebody that just embraces their womanhood is in complete control of over her femininity is not afraid of being vulnerable is not afraid of being um unapologetic her not afraid of being herself so what makes you sexy is you're not afraid to be yourself you wouldn't change basically i think what find what they find sexy about you probably one is you wouldn't you wouldn't alter or change your body for a man if, if you're gonna do it if you're gonna work out if you're gonna get your body done it's for yourself you do everything for yourself and you don't look to a man's 
approval or attention you don't seek attention for this power that's what makes you so sexy that you don't need male validation this is what is so sexy about you about you power one because that's rare that is really rare um to come across a woman that doesn't seek male validation or attention it's like you do it for yourself um, for some of you guys, the Empress came out, you could be a mother or you want to be a mother someday. Um, I think you're like a a feminist or you could come off as a feminist or you could come off as somebody that fights for feminine. You would be a very good like woman that could stand up for femininity or for feminine rights, basically. Like you're very sexy and empowering, empowering to yourself and other women. And I think this is what is so sexy about you probably want an irresistible like i get i think guys can't wrap their mind around your around how empowering you are you don't have to belittle another feminine to feel good about yourself um you feel like you're number one and that's all that matters and this is what makes you sexy the fact that you won't change for anybody you're gonna be yourself like you being authentically you is what's so special and what's so sexy and what's so irresistible like you being who you are and i feel like also what's sexy about you probably is the fact that you uh, you voice your opinion um no matter what if something looks off to you if something isn't going right if you aren't being satisfied in the bedroom or if something doesn't feel good you're going to speak up you're not too submissive to the point where you don't speak up i think you speaking up and kind of being blunt and sometimes coming coming off as rude you don't care because if you're gonna like basically if you're gonna come up if you're gonna like sound rude but it's your truth and it's your it's like you need to voice it you don't really care if it comes off rude because it's important for you to speak your your truth it's important for you to speak your concerns to people so basically say you have like you and your boyfriend or whoever the guy you're talking to or involved with now if you guys were to have if he was to buy you something that just wasn't that you just didn't <laughs> You just didn't like like you didn't you just tell them like instead of like having it sit in your closet for months because you were afraid to tell your boyfriend or your your guy to take it back to the store and get me something else you're going to tell them the truth even if it hurts their feelings you're going to tell them the truth i think you do this in the bedroom a lot as well like you speak up and this is what's so sexy about you power one I think also oh, what on my card fell hold on so what fell on the ground was the queen of wands and it's also like it's just giving me clar clarification on what i've been saying your boobs <laughs> your titties look amazing in every top that you wear i think like it's just i don't know it looks so flattering some of you guys you just have big boobs they love it they love it um what else am I getting from the Queen of Wands? Um, something for some of you guys was they like that you are dominant in the bedroom. Some of you guys you are dominant, or yeah, for some of you guys you like to ride. This is what is like a turn on. This is what's sexy about you that you. Some of you guys you ride really good. Like it feels really good when you ride. Um, what else am I getting from the Queen of Wands? Some of you guys, it's really, really sexy that you do things alone. You could be single right now. Or for some of you guys, you live alone and it's very sexy. But the fact that you have your own place, your own car, you do things alone. You like to stay alone. You could be a loner, but this is like looked at as sexy to these men. The fact that you don't care to be alone. Because some people have to be in a group, you know, have to have a group of friends to do things or to speak up or to have a approval from but you don't need approval from anybody and this is what's so sexy the fact that you don't go looking for people to you don't wait on people either with the queen of wands you could you are patient but when you're impatient that's also sexy and i think your physical they could like your butt as well like whatever shape you have they really really like it and for some of you guys you're working out and you like the fact this could be people oh my god for some of you guys this could, these are guys at the gym <laughs> these are guys at the gym that think this about you they like your boobs i don't know if you wear a sports bra or even if you wear a 
big t-shirt or something like that when you start to sweat and take it off guys are definitely checking you out and you can go to the gym alone and you could be like really self-conscious self-conscious but guys feel like you going to the gym by yourself um it's sexy for some of you guys if you do go to the gym by yourself what else is sexy i just feel about power <laughs> two of swords it's kind of giving me that energy of like of the eight of swords i mean eight of cups they think it's sexy the fact that they have to like try really really hard to get your attention like it's really really hard to amuse you and it's really really hard to impress you and i think this is what's really sexy it could come it could be a little frustrating too um but it's sexy to them it's like fun it's entertaining i feel like you it's something about it's like you ever seen i think i've said this before but like when birds or any type of animal the guy the male animal has to do like a sex call or like a mating call or dance or something like that i think they like the fact that you you ever seen when the animals when the female animals reject them and they just fly off or they just don't want to have sex with them or they're not inch like they're not they're not amused at all like they're not they're bored i think they like the fact that your face could look bored or they could like the fact that you also don't you don't speak when you don't feel like you need to speak like even your silence is very empowering like very like you can be silent you know it's like it's sexy because you know when to speak and you know when not to speak like it's something about your body language that is really sexy as well because you could you could actually be passive aggressive but you know that you don't have to be i think i don't know it's like something here where you like to play mind games you could like to play mind games just to entertain yourself it's like for some of you guys it's sexy to these guys that you play mind games just to entertain yourself because you're bored with them like you're just bored you're flirting you flirt just a flirt um you stir up the pot just to stir up the pot they could feel like you just love drama or you love drama in your relationships with them like <laughs> they could find the sexy that you're like you're dramatic or you like to start drama to amuse yourself like i think that's why you like to start drama to amuse yourself to entertain yourself because whatever they're doing is almost not good enough or you just make them feel this way even if you don't intend to make them feel like they're not good enough this is just the energy of how they feel about you i don't know how they like the sexual energy you make them feel like everything they do they need to do no they need to do more they need to please you more they need to give more they need to buy more they need to it's like you want more and more and more and more and more so this could be sexy as well the fact that it's like you it's like endless when it comes to them spoiling you i think you like to be spoiled part one <laughs> or you are spoiled you're used to being spoiled so that's what i have for you part one of um what's so sexy about you what's you know irresistible about you so if that did resonate please like comment subscribe and i'll see you in my next post hello so if you chose the cobra how to then this will be your reading on what makes you sexy what makes you irresistible i know i think i'm gonna use another deck What makes Pow to irresistible? What makes Pow so irresistible? I got the M. Oh, wait. I thought it was the Emperor, but it's the King of Cups. Hmm. What makes you ears this thing called to. That's a lot of cups. We have the Ten of Cups on top of that. Oh, why don't you irresistible? Got the five of swords. For 
oh I like she irresistible Definitely your nipples. I'm gonna cover that up, but what makes you sexy and irresistible is your nipples. I'm gonna just keep going. You could have small boobs in this pile. The first pile have big boobs. You have small boobs, and they like this. They feel like this is irresistible or something very sexy about you. Even if you don't have small boobs, it's just the, the, the size of your nipples they love. You've got the nine of pentacles. Okay, one more time. How they feel. I how they feel. What's sexy? What they feel like is sexy about how to. Oops. Okay. Chariot for what they. This person likes that you're aging very well. Like you look very young for your age, even if you're older. If you're not older, you still are like you look whatever age you are. For some of you, they like that you look either yo younger or older than your age. So you could be young and you look older. You could be older, you look younger, whatever it is. It's just something about age and how you look. They really, really like or they just could like every eight like as you age you get thicker or you get beautiful you get more beautiful you get more in tune with yourself and in tune with your feminine energy they think this is very sexy that every time you age or like a year goes by or a couple years go by you look you look beautiful every year they thought you were beautiful then but then it's like when they see you now it's like you you look even like they can't believe it because you're not aging at all you look even more beautiful like as you get older you keep looking you keep looking better and better and better and better and this is what's so sexy about you because this person wants to marry you or they can see like a future with you like they want to actually get you pregnant like this person probably wants to see how your boobs would change if you were to get to pre if you were to get pregnant they feel like your boobs will look beautiful maybe you did get pregnant um by them already and your boobs look perfect they look even more better than when before the baby or oh, this is what's gonna happen um what else am i getting yeah they, this person what they find sexy about you is you could be a mother of one two three of multiple kids or just one kid you are like a milf so this is what's so sexy and irresistible to you the fact that you're a milf like you are a mom that's very very sexy and very very fun still like you don't let mo being a mother make you like boring and like i don't know you don't make it's like you make being a mother look sexy like you're very very sexy pal too so if you didn't know you were very very sexy like you're very very sexy if you're a mother even if you're not a mother like you're something about hmm what do they find sexy about you pal too because the king of cuss is definitely somebody that wants to have kids. I don't even know why this came up, but I'm really getting the fact that, like, they find it sexy that they can probably teach you things. If this is an older masculine, they definitely want to teach you things. You could come off a little bit naive sometimes, but they like this because they can teach you. They feel like they can teach you a lot of things, so I don't know if this is, like, considered grooming or not. But they find it sexy that they can teach you um, certain things that they already know. Um, what else am I getting? This could be a cancer or water sign. Or you you attract a lot of water signs that want to nurture you. Um, what's this? What's in this so well about you? I think the fact that you kind of like 
give men a taste of their own medicine as well with the five of swords here because it looks like they got defeated so i think when guys try to play you or guys try to come in and be dishonest and guys try to like cheat or lie or do things behind your back you nip it in the bud really fast like you're the type of energy where you're gonna get your lick back and i think this is what's irresistible about you like you're not afraid to get your lick back like you will you know that's i don't know if you're the type to fuss or not because this could also be sexy the fact that you like you're very like i heard gritty but you're very like nonchalant and you're very like um witty as well like you you have a lot of like <laughs> fucked up comebacks like your comebacks like make them shut the fuck up and i think they like this a lot because it like it humbles them. It makes masculines more humbled around you. And this could be sexy and irresistible. The fact that you can humble them really quick. Maybe they're not used to feminines um, humbling them. You humble them really quick. Or maybe they like the fact that you're very, very humbled. Like you're very, very down to earth with the not of pinnacle. She's like talking to the this bird. So maybe you're like very in tune with um, animals. My phone's always about to die in one of these piles but yeah maybe you're in tune with animals and this could be like you probably don't it's like things that you probably don't think is sexy about you that's very sexy like you being in tune with animals and nature maybe you have a lot of plants around your place maybe you like plants you have plants in your room you have an animal that you take care of or you just like animals like you're an animal lover maybe you work at a shelter or you want to work at a shelter or you always wanted to be in a veterinarian you always you you've always loved kids and animals and this could be very like sexy and irresistible um pile too because i think you attract a lot of guys that also are in tune with their feminine energy so they i think this is why all these kids are here and all these animals in the background because this person actually you attract a lot of people that want the same things and they find this really really sexy in you that you want the same things like you want you love kids you get along with kids um you love animals you want a few animals you take like the animals like really a lot of animals are drawn to you actually and this is actually sexy like they want to fuck you because you maybe you will walk around barefoot as well or you're one of the, you're, you, I don't know, it's like they like your feet. They find your feet sexy. Like they would suck your toes in this pile, definitely would suck your toes. You have very pretty toes and very, very pretty hands. They find your feet very sexy. Like I think they sexualize your feet a little bit. And what else am I getting? You could have a bird. They could want to take you back horseback riding soon or like something where you can guys can go to a zoo or a farm and pet animals they want to go to a petting zoo they want to do like fun childish things or maybe you guys are going to take the kids if you have kids to like they want to take you and your kids like this person wants to be like a stepdad and this problem getting stepdaddy i'm getting stepdaddy and like they're <laughs> like you guys could have really good sex or they're so you're so sexy to the point where they're going to adopt they want to adopt all your kids and like all your kids are theirs and they don't even want you talking to your baby daddy unless it's about the kids like for this pal you're so sexy that they don't no they're not playing games with you like they want to be daddy in the household honestly new or old person this person wants to be like step daddy if you already have kids or this person wants to be have kids with you like you probably would have crazy baby daddies probably do have crazy baby daddy i'm not sure it's like you're so sexy you would have a crazy for this file you're so sexy you would have a crazy baby daddy in this file like i think they really really like your stomach because in this one it's like she has a very strong stomach they like your stomach a lot actually like they think it looks very like fit even if it's not fit they like the way your stomach looks like i'm getting infant you could have a belly ring they like your belly ring they think this is sexy and irresistible I think your body is there, so what I am getting like emphasis on your feet, your hands, and your stomach structure, and your boobs. It's like the main thing they love about your body and your physical appearance. What else is sex irresistible? I did say you ride really did I say you ride really good in this pal? Because he's like she's riding him, so I think they think what's sexy about you, pal too, is the fact that you're not too shy and timid in the bedroom some of you guys you are shy and timid 
but it's something that you do in the bedroom that they really really find irresistible i think i think it's when you kiss them how to like this makes them come like you when you're on top and you kiss them and you're riding them makes them like oh my god go crazy just the kissing of the sexual in in like you kissing a masculine in bed is like sexy and irresistible something about how you how you kiss them yeah because they're kissing in this one too like really kissing in that one like tongue guys love kissing you how to like love kissing you like i don't think like they love kissing you like a, these guys will kiss you all day like this is like very sexual to them with you something about your the way you kiss you could be a very good kisser about to hear you're a really 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 good kisser like kissing you makes someone have sex you can kiss them peck them i think you guys like to make out though this person loves kissing you like it turns them on to kiss you in public not in public like you guys be really really kiss i think you guys be making out like that i want to fuck kiss like <laughs> maybe you guys kiss to where like it's irresistible to them like they love it but i think when you do it in public with them it could make other people uncomfortable i don't know if you guys have kissed like this in public but i'm just saying if you guys were to kiss like this in public it would make everybody think of like i don't know maybe it would turn everybody else on but i think this is what really makes you like sexy it's like you are a very good kisser pal too very very good kisser like i think this is what they like the most to do with you actually it's not even sex it's the kissing part they love kissing you um, I think they like, they think your lips are very soft. You are a really good kisser, damn. <laughs> you are a good fucking kisser, like amazing. They could also like head from you. So if you're a good kisser, I think you give really good head. I think they're, what well, they find sexy ears is still like these men that deal with you. They like that, they like, they love oral from you. They love kissing and they love oral from you, pals too so that's what i have for you um pal too if it did resonate please like comment subscribe and i'll see you on my next post hello pal three so if you chose the moth then this will be your reading on what makes you sexy what makes you irresistible Opening my pile of threes, irresistible. <laughs> Be careful, pile of three, because I think you have stalkers. Like, stalkers in this pile. What is sexy about my pile of threes? Why are you so obsessed with me and every <laughs> and everybody knows since the I keep hearing that. Okay. Is that Mariah Carey? I forget what the song called. Feel me obsessed. That's 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 the whole energy I'm getting. And then we have the King of Cups for the first pile. So you could have been drawn a pile too because the placement was in the same position. King of Cups was the first card to come out. So what is so sexy about you? Pile three. Whoa. Oh, I'm sorry that you're so expressive. The fact that you're very, very expressive, like with everything, and you're very, like, vo it's like you're very, very creative and expressive with everything, and this you're very passionate about everything like everything you do you put passion into it, you put effort into it you put time into it you put like your blood sweat and tears what i'm hearing you're very like dedicated to things and this is what makes you so sexy the fact that you're dedicated to a, a certain goal a certain relationship like when you're in a relationship when and when you're in love and when you are dating you actually are very passionate i think all your passion is what's so sexy about you like a passionate woman a woman that's very expressive is very like sexy and i feel like this is what makes you irresistible and it's like you have a few stalkers i don't know it's like people stalk you then we got temperance 
Is this temperance? Yeah, I think this is temperance. Let me hear it. <sighs> Something to cover. Could be a Sagittarius, but I'm just thinking this is like the passion that I was talking about. Because temperance is all about emotions, passion, um, your life path, goals, obstacles in your way, um, alchemy. Um, so I feel like this person or the men, men in general or girls, whoever is viewing this, like what makes you so sexy is the fact that you're so passionate. You could be gifted, you're talented. And this pal is like my talented pal. It's something you do that makes you very talented and very special. You have like talented, you were, talents you were born with or for some of you guys, you're so dedicated that you actually like taught yourself talents. Like you weren't talented, you weren't born talented. You, you taught yourself and you kept practicing and you kept working at it until you perfected it and it was, it came out as a talent. Like it, you were very talented, you're very gifted at whatever it is. I don't know what it is because it's a lot of people watching this, but it's something here where like what makes you really sexy is the fact that you're talented like you can dance you can sing you can create you can it's something you do here you can it's something you do here that makes you very um irresistible to a lot of people so that's why i feel like you have an audience you could be a performer you could be an entertainer it's something that you do where you get you see you get a lot of attention i don't think you seek a lot of attention i mean i don't know it's like something you, you could do so you could do something like you showcase your talents or something you do something for money where you actually are so good you get paid for it for this pile or for some of you guys you're working at being so good at something that you get actually you know can live off of what you are striving for some of you guys you already live off your talents you can you make money off of your passions and this is what's so sexy like people are like obsessed over it like this could this could be like guys and females for you, pal three, like that find you sexy because you're so passionate and you're so gifted and you're so dedicated and you're so like willing to work really hard. Like you working really hard is very sexy. Like people find it sexy about you, pal three. Not just people not just people that you are like dating and you know that are dating you. It's more so like it could be friends find this sexy. I think for this pile, a lot of friends tend to crush on you that you don't even know crush are crushing on you. Um, girls and guys for this pile. A lot of couples, like you actually, the girl and the guy in the, in the couple in the relationship are both crushing on you. Like you have a lot of people that find you sexy and irresistible. Like are you striking, daring, intimidating? Um, you could be mis you could feel misunderstood sometimes, but because you you don't know why you're so sexy, I think yeah, you could feel misunderstood because you you feel like you're not doing anything to be sexualized, but because you're I don't know it's like an innocence here where you don't even find yourself sexy or you you feel like you're not doing anything to turn anybody on, but it's like the, it's turning them on. It's something about what you're doing that's completely not sexual at all that's turning these people on i think that might be a little confusing for you or a little bit hard to handle because you you don't maybe for this part you don't want to be sexualized often but a lot of people sexualize you a lot of people i just why did i just why did i just see this card and i heard a lot of guys fantasize about you while they're fucking their girlfriend or boyfriend whoa because they don't want to cheat or don't want to step out but like i said you have a lot of stalkers because he's definitely like still viewing her it's like people wonder about you people are amazed by you people are starstruck some people get starstruck and you don't even know you probably don't even see yourself as that big yet because you're still working at it but i promise you there's probably like a future prediction where you're going to be a star someday or you're working at it really your work you don't know how successful you're going to be but you're going to be very successful and a lot of people are starstruck now like people don't know what to say people choke up people don't know how to re i don't know it's like you're like you're like famous honestly you know like i don't know if you are famous you could be famous so i don't know or you're going to become famous this is what's so sexy and irresistible that you're just talented at something you're special you're gifted at something. Even if you're like, oh, I'm not gifted. What is she talking about? I think this is like a future prediction. 
it's like a hobby or something that you do pal three that is sexy <laughs> so what do you what hobby that you do what do you do because people love it people are tuned in with the nine of wands he's definitely tuned in you don't even notice you just be i think you just want to be happy then we got the two of swords how yeah this could be people at your workplace I'm not really gonna yeah it could be what people at your workplace is at the top of the deck that find you sexy at work or you could work, even if you work from home it's just something about you working really hard is sexy and irresistible you could attract a lot of earth signs and a lot of water signs or you could attract a lot of guys that are very emotional about you and a lot of guys with money that want to invest in you I find you irresistible. I want to have sex with you too. So kind of like um, London on track in summer, how they were making all those good records, like the chemistry between them two were like making good music. Like they're both talented and they came together and it was also, you know, it was business, but it was like more than business. Um, I think this is like this pile. Could like what what they find sexy about you probably is that you're a businesswoman too, or you you're striving to be a businesswoman, an entrepreneur, or you have two of cups, two of swords that come out, but the two of swords had like her butt out, and I don't have anything else to cover it, the cards with, so I'm gonna just pair this up with the two of swords. So how they feel? Or not how they feel. I think why well, I keep saying that, because I haven't been saying that in none of the problems with this one. I think what makes you so sexy that you come off so passionate and you're so realistic and you're so real about your emotions. You're so honest about your emotions for things. I think you are very emotional with whatever hobby you do or whatever work you do. You're very emotional. So that's why I feel like you probably help people. Or if you don't help people, you're an entertainer, you get on stage, you sing, you write you write poetry you do something that expresses your emotions in a very high vibrational way and you are very expressive with all of your emotions i think you like to express every single emotion that you feel and it comes out very beautiful and it comes out very magnetic and it's very sexy to other people the fact that you're still it's like genius it's like genius is really something that you create into something more like you you have one substance you have one thing and you create you make that thing into something you like basically making two into four four into eight like you you make i don't know it's like you make things multiply like you could have like bread and you'll find a way to make it like i don't know like french i don't know it's like you make things beautiful like you could have like be struggling with something and then you'll make like like um you know how, like kids if they don't have toys or they're struggling they could make something out of nothing it's like you making something out of nothing and making it beautiful and making it like worth staring at worth buying For some of you guys you you make things worth buying but you need to trust the process this is what makes you so irresistible that's why i'm bringing it up it makes you sexy pal three I think a lot of people sexualize you because you're so in tune with creating things. You don't even notice that you're being crushed on. I don't even think you have time to date. But a lot of people want to date you, probably. You should give it a chance. Then we got the Ace of Wands. So definitely, they sexualize you. They think you're very sexy because of these things. And these are non-sexual things, which nothing's wrong with that, but... This is what they find sexy about you, Pathory, is that you're like a workaholic or you're very talented, you're very skill skillful. You're creative, you're a visionary, you you write poetry, you write something, you sing, you dance, you you are a good talker, maybe you're like a positive speaker, or it's just something you do that's like you're very, very talented at it. You can create, I don't know. What is it? You're off the your author, your artist, your rapper, your um, I don't know, your actress, your actor, something you do where it's very, it, it requires a lot of emotion, basically. Something you do that requires a lot of emotional investment, and they love this. They actually want more emotional investment in you when it comes to a relationship. 
Let me pull some cards out of this little, little deck. But yeah, so this is what makes them like, you're something to like chase. That's why I said stalker. I think you have a lot of people that chase you, stalk you, idolize you. Yeah, they idolize you a lot, pal. Then we have the temperance in this little deck. So definitely find you as like passionate about what you do. We got the two of cups in this deck and the ten of oh for some of you guys because this came out they they find it really sexy and it's just like they find it very sexy about you pal three that you take pain and scars and deep dark emotions and you turn it into something with a light vibration like you turn it into something very beautiful like artistic very expressive like you don't like to hold in dark emotions which most people tend to do this that's why i said the stuff you do is genius so it could feel like you're very smart and this is sexy. Could you turn pain into money? You turn pain into something very valuable. They got the sun. So what's sexy about you is that almost like you turn pain into pleasure. Wow. Hmm. Pain into pleasure. Pain into pleasure. Pain into growth. Yeah, pain into growth. Pain into something that like You make money off your pain somehow or you will one day if you learn how to be in tune with that you have to learn how to master it first pal three if you haven't already um some people that you haven't even had because this is at the top of the deck some people that haven't even had sex with you yet think with the page of wands think that you must be really good in bed because you're so expressive <laughs> my phone went dead but <laughs> like i was saying um the page of wands showing up it's a lot of people feel like if even if they haven't had sex with you people that have had sex with you feel like it's really good um you're almost like an actress in bed but then also people that haven't had sex with you feel like sex would be really really good with you and they would like to try and have a lot of stockers that want to have sex with you and also with the page of wands coming up i feel like there's a lot of people that are too scared to come forward or too intimidated are too starstruck to come forward to actually pursue you and this is why they're coming up as a page of wands like you're so sexy that <laughs> they feel like you i don't know <laughs> and they get starstruck and so in like in because they feel like they're not confident enough or they're not a, a match for you they choke up or they don't even approach you they just daydream and fantasize about being yours and approaching you <laughs> or building up the confidence they daydream and fantasize about having the confidence to tell you how beautiful you are how sexy you are or like i actually take you out on a date pal three so <clears throat> that's what makes you sexy and irresistible if any of it did resonate please like comment subscribe and i'll see you in my next post